with this um this lost sheep, right? You know, this lost sheep, Erika Badu, right? They say if the name Bedda, Erika Tebeda, right? Erika Badu, right? Badu, is that like if you bed? Anyway, uh, some people don't know. This is kind of inside, uh, inside, uh, uh, inside kind of a, a thing right here in, in the Ethiopic and Amharic. So anyway, let's just look at this right here. We're looking for some of her recent, uh, a recent pick that was sent, right? A recent pick. Now, let me, first of all, the record state that she is one of the artists, you know, black artists, um, lost sheep, lost found. I thought she was found, but she got caught up in that Dr. York shit, you know, and then she was doing all this kind of shit here. You know, which was, uh, kind of interesting, actually. You know, we thought that some years ago, we thought she was, she was going Jaw way, right? But it's obvious right now that she's going astray or she has gone astray, right? So let's, let me go open up a little suitcase right here. Cause sometimes we go through this preparation, you know, of getting certain picks that we're going to utilize. And when we're looking at these picks, a whole bunch of ideas, you know, start to come to mind. Then finally, when we decide to do a vid, you know, like some of y'all know this producers of vids and stuff like that. It's like you, you, you're preparing and sometimes just good to just kind of get in to it, you know, as you get into it, you know, just kind of record right there. Here's what she was trying to do, like the Rastafari thing or the Rasta team, you know, which is a kind of abbreviation of the glory, you know. Um, so she have a little like it seems like dreadlocks or it's uh what they call it, Molly locks. One sister told I that's what's called Molly locks. I I I really didn't even know. Now, I know some of y'all probably maybe still like like her, you know, as an artist or just as a, I would say human being, but some of the things that she is promoting, you really have to recognize where that's really coming from, you know? So she went through the ball head bit, you know, so she's done everything. They say, well, she's an artist. She's here to express herself. Mm-hmm. The, the question is, who are you, right? You know, when you're expressing yourself. You're expressing all these even contradictory things. Now, one video vlogger actually pointed out uh, Lauren Hill. You know how Lauren Hill ha has rejected, right, what um, Eric Carr Badu obviously has accepted, right? And what she has accepted is this scepter, right, this rulership or this 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 rule, as it were, so to speak, when we say the Satan's rule, right? The world, flesh, and devil. Why do we say that? If you look at some of her recent things, I mean, what the, what the hell, what does this have to do with anything? We thought she was a conscious artist. See, that's the problem with the conscious community. It's really the black consciousness community. No, it's the black conscious Gentile community. See, y'all didn't even know. I didn't even know. Some of you say we didn't even know. I have begun to know that, yeah, there's a lot of black conscious, right? This is a nice picture, you know, just physically speaking, what the almighty created is, is beauty, you know, but what people have done to this beauty, you know, she says, bite me, I'm vegan. You, you see the, you see the hypocrisy there? Bite me, I'm vegan. What, you a vegetable? Maybe that's what she's telling us. She's a vegetable. You know, bite me, I'm vegan. You, you see the the double-mindedness there? You see the con tradition right there? Bite me, I'm... Oh, it's funny, just there for a joke. But the joke is on who? Is she laughing with us? You're probably not even laughing, right? Or is she laughing at us, right? Or our handlers. See, we thought, oh, she's on the revolutionary tip. You see what she's doing right here? She's on the revolutionary tip, you know, she's a she's going back to the 70s. She's doing things to to make her career viable. You remember back in the, the days where she did this style right here? She did this style back in the days because that's what was going on back in the days. Right. She did the this kind of pseudo uh, gypsy in. They, they say it's Egyptian. No, it's Egyptian. Is he is, is he Egyptian? They're gypping you of your culture. Right. They, they're, they're presenting to you distractions, 
They're presenting you other ways other than Yahweh, right? They're presenting you other ways, right? Other than the truth, right? But they are doing it so deceptively. Like a lot of them have beautiful voices, for example, right? Have a beautiful voice. I'm talking about what the Almighty has given them. But the question is, what are you doing with what the Almighty has given you? It's like now that we found your love, right? What are we going to do with it? It's interesting on this cover right here. Let's bring this cover up right here. It says, um, Erica Badu's um, big reveal, her big reveal. What is her big reveal? Nikki Minaj a trois, right? Hip hop's new superwoman to the rescue. Minaj, Minaj a trois. What do you mean by Minaj a trois? We're not talking about the sexual part. We're actually talking about the satanic part. You know what I mean? You know, Satan, the, you know, the, 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 the spirits like frogs. I mean, she tell you, oh, she got Roman. She got what? A Roman. Right. So when they say you're not romantic, take that as a compliment. You know, don't be romantic. There's a lot of romantic shit out there. So these artists, they have beautiful voices, which God has given them. Some of them as people have a, a beautiful form, you know, physical form. We said the Bible says that we are one fearfully and wonderfully made. Right. The the human body, the female body from I and I as a male, especially, you know, you know, wonderfully and beautifully made. But what is done with it? Right. And we're going to get on our brothers too. what we're doing with that, which the almighty has given us too. you know, so to speak, you know, what we are, what we shouldn't be doing. With it. I'm still looking for this particular pick right here. So there's the cultural side. People say, look at that. We thought when she had this on, this is like a Rasta woman. No, this was to lead the sheep astray. That's what it was. Cause you look at her and a lot of young sisters, you know, coming to daughters of Jah, coming to the light of the King of Kings in Christ. They will look at her and say, look at this. She's cultural. What, what culture? This is not cultural. This is cultish. Let me just say that again. It is not cultural. It is cultish. It's a cultish, right? Some cultish stuff right there. Which lady wore the best, excuse me, which lady wore the look best, right? Some what designer outfit out there. You see, they're always selling you product, right? And that, that should become very clear. They're always selling you some product. So how can they really be into their talent if they're always appealing to monetary interests. You see, the two really don't go together. You see what I'm saying? Because people will follow, especially the sheeple, right? Or the goat people, they will follow, you know, they will follow others. They'll follow whatever, you know, for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Feelings, emotions, mixed up moods, attitudes. They'll follow whatever. You see what she says right here? She's holding up. I don't know if this is some which award this is right here. But she has a shirt on that says dead. What more? So and then in the next moment, she'll wrap it up. She'll put a red, gold, green on. She'll wrap up her hair. She might put an Ethiopian cross or something like that on. She might put her hands in in the sorority cunt way. And people will think like, oh, that's that's like Rastafari. No, it's not. Mm hmm. And some of you skylarking so-called Rastas and I know I was skylarking with you all. I just thank I thank Abba Father for the grace of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Because I, I, I thought so too. I, I really did. I bought her album some years ago when I used to be, quote, buying albums, you know, and I liked her. You know what I mean? I mean, I liked her, you know, as an artist, so forth. And so I wasn't, you know, I didn't thank God. I didn't get into all that kind of obsession. You know, look at this one right here. This one, Control Freak. Right. So when she sees another movement going on right in the earth, right, she sees a cultural thing going on. What does she do? She assimilates it. You know, it's almost like a chameleon. You know, she assimilates it. And if you look through all of her different styles, people say, well, she's she's just very fashionable, fashionable. You call it. You don't even know what. Man, man. Oh, that's a whole other subject matter right there. Right. Who is this? This is her new boo right here. 
this is her new boo right here. She's tired of the black man, you know, or the black man don't got what, what she needs or whatever. Uh, you know, it's, it's some of the black man. It's somebody, I mean, one of the sisters said in our, on um, Women's Wednesday, that was a really good Women's Wednesday. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash discipleship radio. The Women's, uh, Wednesday broadcast from the, uh, what was the date on that right there? From the 10th. It might be listed actually as the 11th, right? So look for the Woman's Wednesday on the 11th, you know, on Blog Talk Radio. Um, scroll through it, get, get more into it. And we really get into a uh, kind of a point there at Testify Tuesday, Rastafari right? Testify Tuesday from the 10th of November 20, 2015. We get a little bit more into it. So this is what she's promoting now. See what I was talking about right here with that cunt fraternity, you know, where they do the little triangle and people think like, oh, that's like Rastafari. No, it's not. See, people don't pay attention to the details, right? That's why I said the devil's in the details. If you pay attention to the details, like we look right here and think like, oh, she's, she's, she's going cultural. No, this is some Marley locks, right? She knows that there's a lot of people that's into her and more that might get into her because what they are doing. So she will assimilate that. You know, it, what they call it again? They call it the Judas goat. Actually, it's the Judas goat. You know, the goat that basically leads the sheep astray. Right? This is the goat that leads the sheep astray. So here she's promoting her, 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 her hips and her waist. So this is how desperate, you know, it gets, you know, until you're going to really see some, some stuff working out here. What well, this is a hairline right here. Right? That's her hairline word. So she's also into that. So where's her natural hair? What is her natural hair? Who is she? What is she really about? You know, so I still can't find that that particular pick I'm looking for. There's a lot of her her stuff out here. We're just grabbing some things here and there. But it seems like they are putting her. They're pitting her up against um, Nicki Minaj. Who do you like? Right. And this is really to draw our sisters, our daughters, our wives, our mothers astray. Right. Because there is a conscious, a true Christ, black Christ, you know, consciousness that's rising up. All right. The, the real black Messiah awareness that was suppressed for 40 plus years since the co-intel pro, right? And the black feminism bullshit that is rising up, right? And they're trying to just drive, you know, distract you astray, you know, with zombies like this, you know, and zombies like that, you know? And you notice what they always be promoting? They'd be promoting like European so-called white albino, evil albino and evil, um, you know, so-called albino albino American kind of culture. If you notice that, you know, it's the whitewash shit, you know, the blonde hair, the programming, the, um, this is what they call the, what they call that again? The Marilyn Monroe programming. You know, I was looking at some, some selfies, some pictures. And I saw that a lot of black women had this, this, uh, what, what was it called? A Marilyn Monroe. I said, what the hell is a, Ma uh, 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 what the hell? You know, and then I said, you know, maybe there's just uh, the things you got to learn about, you know, and I'm, I give thanks to the almighty that, you know, we can still, you know, be, you know, pleasantly surprised and amazed at how he can even be with us when we go through such hell. You know, see, this is when she was so-called the conscious artist. She probably still does that. If that's what's popular, you know, it's like her teacher, Dr. York. You know, the one that's in jail for the admitted um, child molestation. But they said that they forced him. But he's actually a god. You remember, he's a god. He's actually a pharaoh. He, he's, a, he's, he's a rabbi. He's a, a guru. He's an Indian chief. He's an imam. Oh, man, he's probably a lot of other things that I can't really even name right now. You know, and a few things that um, I would like to name. But this is more or less on one of his uh, disciples here. Right, Erica Badu, right, Baduism, right. What is Baduism? Remember, she was trying to start her own religion. He didn't know. He don't know. You think she stopped? Y you think it's over? No, she's trying to promote her own religion. So she dips into everything a little bit here and there. So in one of the most recent picks, 
that was shared with I and I, that was shared with us, right? Um, we saw where she was doing this uh, Trinity hands thing. Uh, I'm, we're probably going to have to like segue it and bring it over because we just went to a general, um, um, a general kind of a Erica Badu search. We have it over here on our phone right here. And maybe we just show it to you on the phone so ones can see what, what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. You see, Illuminati, that is the satanic phrase that pays, right? Um, for you to go to hell. No, anyway, that's the phrase that pays. Okay. Uh, Erica Badu Illuminati. Give thanks right there. Right. So she, she's doing this in this video right here. Right. You see where the hands are. Right. And there's a whole lot of other ones. You know, we're not going through all this, but we just want to get some samplers. Right. Right. This is really kind of like what is connected with right here. The goat, you know, and good thing. Get the goat. We're going to, we're going to expose the sin. Right. There's no more sacrifice for sin. That's why they go to the goat shit, because there's no more sacrifice for sin. Here, she is using the Hebrew letter Be, right? Be is on her cheek. Why is Be, you know, or Beth, Bait, Bat, right? Which also means daughter. You know, why is this on her cheek right here, right? The roots of, uh, let's say the roots of dot, 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 Erica Badu. <laughs> How interesting, the roots of dot, 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 Erica Badu. Let's see. This thing is not showing up right here in the large on this phone. I'm I'm, I'm looking at our our uh, burner phone right here, and uh, I'm looking for this pic to show y'all right as we also scroll here and see if it's here because um some of us as as uh oh this is the album some of us as youths. Right. Some of us says, be our brother's keeper, be our sister's keeper. So in putting together this vid right here and just doing this rough video here is uh, a way, an attempt to uh, be our brother's and sister's uh, keeper right here. OK, we're going to have to reboot this phone. You know, the technology be doing that sometimes. So we have to like, you know, reboot this. Uh, yeah, reboot this phone. Yeah, restart. There we go. This is the album that we bought. This is the album that the first album that we had, you know, gotten of Mrs. Uh, uh, Badu, right? Um, did she ever explain what Badu actually means? You know, um, is there like a, you know, now here you see she has some Kabbalah, Kabbalistic shit, some synagogue of Satan shit, right? The wrong Kabbalah. Right, the wrong tree, the wrong way to the tree of life, whether they know it or not, it's the wrong way. You see some Hebrew letters, Dalet and Hey, right? She has some of the York stuff there with the Allah. You can see the Allah right in there. Let's see if we go a little closer. There's the, there's the, actually, it's the Lahu. It seems like the Lahu, Lahu, right? Or Illa, right? It might be Illa in the sense of God, or it can also be Goddess. Right, uh, goddess. Right, so, um, oh, disgusting. Uh, uh, flaming lips. You know what this is all about? This is all about the ghetto gagger stuff. Right, I mean, y'all, y'all are mature. You know, the gospel's for mature people. You know, the good news is for people who really can, you know, look at sin, right, and recognize the need for the savior. You know, it's not for these immature. Look at this, look at this disgusting shit right here. You know what I mean? You know, because she's promoting this, you know, and then the blood, the blood kind of stuff right here. What is this about? Right? What is this really? We're going to go to the scriptures and the scriptures are going to really divulge and explain in clarity. There's a lot of scriptures that's coming, to, uh, prophetic scriptures, which shows that the daughters of Israel, right? The daughters, uh, the lost uh, sheep of Israel will be doing these things. Right. And many have tried to figure out what is it talking about? What time is it talking about? Who is it talking about? Now we have a better idea of what's what, because as the almighty said, 
He said in the last days, right, we would perfectly, right, overstand these things, right? In the last days, in the latter days, he told us to end from the beginning, but our ancestors played ignorant, you know, ignorant. You know how niggas are, you know, because that's who the Israelites, the Hebrews are. Straight up, you know, some people can get offended, get offended. You know, I mean, the truth is an offense, but it is not a sin. Look at look at her. She played the cultural, too. She's another one right there. Favorite female Pisces. Hmm. That's interesting. She's a female Pisces right there. Right. This is Latifa. You remember the serpent in the garden? If you read the Arabic, the, the serpent was the most Latif. Right. Latifa means subtle. Right. Was the subtle of all the beast. You see, when you become a beast, you fall from being a human. Right. You know, to inhuman sort of shit. Like we just showed you there before. You know what I mean? Um, and if that's your thing, you know, then you just keep that to yourself somewhere. Nobody knows. But if you bring it out into the public. Right. Then we have we have not just a right, but a duty. Right. To expose you because you've already exposed yourself publicly. Look at this. Celebrities in the 90s, celebrity now. Well, it was going on then. It was just that we were not as aware. Lauren Hill, may may job protect her. May the almighty, may our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, you know, keep her and protect her in the truth. Right. Because she's gone through a lot of stuff, even with some of those are. Uh, those phony Marleys. I say the phony ones, the ones that are just phony. Right now, some people may not like it. Well, some of them are legit, right? And it's all about keeping in the way of the father, right? Some are holding to the way of their father, you know, who in this context is almost like a David and some who have become like Solomon, you know, because of what the father did, you know, and speaking of Marley, you know, we have Marley there. You know, now some people try to play the black white sort of a thing in these ways. We'll we'll address that in another vid. Um, still don't find the Illuminati thing right here, but you know what we'll do? I think what we'll do is this. Here we go. It's about to go ham, right? You know, <laughs> yeah, about to go Egypt, right? It's about to go ham, right? About to go physical. Let's all get physical, physical, yeah. Um, but this is a pseudo metaphysical too. You see a lot of this pseudo metaphysical. Let's put hands here. No, it'd probably been easy just to, okay, do this right here, right? So Illuminati hands. Shh. Let's see. She's there. It's probably fresh and people probably still, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, okay. This is, this is, uh, this is some crazy stuff right here. You see, because they know this is Lil Wayne, the empire and Lil Wayne, the drought is over. They know that our Lord and Savior is black, right? But what they do is this is how they can get out ahead of the story. Before the, the sheeple can find the shepherd, right? Then comes these hired shepherds, right? Then comes along these hired shepherds to lead the sh sheep astray. Right. And whether they know or whether they don't know, I mean, you know, they know, they know enough. Right. They know that they know enough. You know, what I mean, they know enough. They can make all sort of excuses and y'all can make all sort of excuses. Right. For these so-called black monsters like, you know, like like these ones right here. You know, you can make all sort of excuses for these ones and ones. But that means that you don't hear us. Right. And what does the master say? What does Adoni, you know, Yeshua say? You know, they don't hear us because they, they have nothing of us. They're not in the same spirit. They are part of this satanic conspiracy. That's what you just call a satanic conspiracy because conspiracy just means to breathe together. Those who breathe with the truth and seek the truth, right? Then they are in the spirit of truth. Those who seek the error are in the spirit of error and it says here, hereby, you know, you know, the spirit of truth from the spirit of error. It becomes very, very, very clear. You see, a lot of them are, this is what they're really about. They're about antichrist, right? Here it goes. Now, some of y'all say, say, this is, this is antichrist. That's antichrist right there. Straight up. You'll say Caesar Bogiers, if we're going to the actual historical character, that's what they're about bigging up. Have you noticed that a lot of these so-called um, woe men, 
but they're not really womb man in the true sense anymore because the womb has been defiled. They have defiled the womb by their art. You see what I'm saying? They have the, this is what they're defending. This is the war that's going on. Masters of the universe. They're trying to defend, you know, they're trying to defend blonde hair, blue eye, white supremacy, even by measures of degree and, and black facing it. You see the worst black face. Look at this. This is the Israel. She's on the is, uh, she's on a Jezreel tour, right? She's on a Jezreel tour. They're trying to defend it. Right? Defend it. Okay. All right. I know we're, we're seeking to do multi, I'm in a multitask, you know, just doing, you know, more than we can so we can do all we can as the King of Kings has so advised I and I. You remember this one from back in the days too, right? You know, well, how come they don't do to, to this other one what they did to that one? Because that one, at least already had bowed to my park. He bowed to a lot of things, but he even at some point was trying to, you know, trying to, um, make amends, right? Make amen, you know, make amends, trying to get into the truth or trying to speak the truth, you know? Um, but the other one out there, speak my little Wayne, little Wayne has this crucifixion kind of thing going on to, there too. You see how they were use these symbols and they're using these symbols because they know what time it is, you know what I mean? Between all the different, we could say the different mansions of our father's house. And we include, you know, many of the, you know, the black, the blind black Hebrew Israelites out there that don't want to see the king of kings upon, upon the throne of David and Ethiopia. They are still our, our brothers and our brothers according to the natural. You know what I mean? They are natural Israelites. It's just that they are blind. You know, they're blind to the half of the story, you know, blind to the Ethiopian Hebrew half of the story. And we say that without apology. They are blind to the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Hylas Elazar the first. We say that without apology, right? So they might do a little hand sign, a little so-called pseudo trinity, but it's not what they do. It's what they say. It's what they sing about. It is what sort of um spirit Right. It's what sort of spirit that they are putting forward. You see what I'm saying? And most of them are just like these clowns right here. You know, these are clowns. Right. His Majesty was never a part of any of his foolishness. You can't find one picture. These are fools there. These are clowns. These are fools. These are made suckers, made slaves, you know, willing slaves, willing puppets, willing servants. That's what they are. What is this right here? This is this whole um, man and machine, chimera, you know, mixing the man and the machine. And this was going on for a while. You remember this? Michael, 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 right? But not, not the angel Michael, but most people were so daft that they, in a sense, believe that, well, yeah, he was the closest to it. You know, if you look at it in these sense, the butterfly programming, all of these are just parts and pa parcels of Satan's, right, of Satan's conspiracy, of the evil conspiracy. And you can tell by the fruit. You say you judge a tree by the fruit, not just how things seem to be or how they look, but it's also the fruit, right? Now, when the fruit goes, uh, goes according to how, if it looks evil and it produces evil, then therefore, what do you know about it? But I like so and so. Well, you like evil. You take pleasure in unrighteousness and you need to repent. You need to have a change of mind. And if you don't, you're fucked. You fornicated under the crown of the holy king, even the black king, even Christ the king, even Christ in his kingly character, right? And you're damned and your future is fucked up. You know, it's sinned up. I mean, your presence already sinned up, right? This is the, this is, this is the battle for our mind, right? For our mind, right? This is the battle for, for your mind, for your thinking. So when you see a lot of this art and promotion out there, it is put out there that way. So if you see somebody doing a little so-called conscious thing or put a little, you know, you know oh man. <laughs> there are, it, it becomes when your eyes, when Christ has 
taking that clay and spit, right? And then, and then put it on your eyes and take it off and you can see. You just see so much. Although, I mean, it's, it's just so, oh, wow. You know, and the Bill Gates of, Billy Go Gates of, uh, Gates of Hell, Gates of Fire. You know, that's, that's also another one right there, but that's in a little different category. But really, it's all part of the same shit. Right. It's all part of the same shit right here. Okay. This is a good one here. Her and Lauren Hill briefly at a, at a brief moment. Right. Um, and they've been trying to suppress Lauren Hill as well, but she has spoken out on the record, you know, so they're saying Lauren Hill or Erica Badu. Right. We thought Erica Badu was, um, Christ conscious. And some of them, okay, here, this is good. This is good. Here we go. You see what I'm talking about right here? Here you go. You see the Allah right there? The, the La, it's actually Lahu. If you can read the Arabic, it's Lahu. Yeah, it is basically the shape sigil of the Arabic Allah. But this is really Lahu right here on her shoulder. And you can see this in the Dr. York, Nuwabian way. People think he's in prison, right? He might be being protected if you think about it. You know, I was thinking about that. He might actually be in protective custody because a lot of things kind of trace back to, to, to him. I'm talking about in this modern, you know, in this modern time, you know, I mean, in this latter day time. Now here, this is where people will say, Oh, look at her. She's doing Selassie's hands and so forth and all oh, doing the same. So therefore, so let me tell you something. If Caesar Bogiers whitewashed himself and painted over himself and he was used as a stand in for, 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 for Christ or for their Christ, for Antichrist, they replace the true black Lord and Savior with this whitewashed Caesar Bogiers. And you see Caesar Bogiers as a part of this evil archy, this evilness, right? Did, does that mean that the real Yeshua is evil? You see, the, y'all got faulty logic. Y'all got a lot of faulty logic because you're not in the logos. You know, you'll say words where you don't know what you're talking about. You know, you're all unstable and unlearned. And no doubt what is fooling a lot of y'all is a lot of these uh, conspiracy theory videos out there where people are just chucking up shit. Somebody else is taking it like soup and then they're feeding that to you the same shit. Right. And it really is no better for you. In fact, it's worse when you get it from the second, third hand, because people are not even looking at this. Right. From from a, a Christ mind, from a real mind. They're looking at this from the mindlessness that is within them. Here we go right here. Let's get to this right here. Let's see if we can just show this at the end of the vid and probably do another short vid, you know, just to kind of highlight and focus on this particular imagery right here. Okay, here we go right here. It should be coming up momentarily, brothers and sisters and others, because the others watch it too. So then they can go and try to do a counter video. You know, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. So y'all should be doing a similar video to, to the counter, you know, to the counter. Okay, here we go right here. You see that right there? Now, something, she has an Ethiopian, okay, it seems like she has an Ethiopian cross right there. Right, right there above her, what you call. Th and, and they would say, this is a conscious thing, right? Yeah, it is Satan conscious. This is conscious. This is conscious Satanism. It's obvious that she's become very conscious of who she is and what she's representing. Now, remember, it says the Soul Train Awards. Now, if you know anything, that th this should be the soulless. These are soulless Negroes, right? Don't they know what they're doing? Don't they know what they what this image is doing to the young children, right? The young children who might be fatherless and motherless and have grown up in this 40 year desert, this 40 year wilderness of North America, right? Do you see over there the Toyota symbol, you know, the so-called horns of whether the bull or the horns of the goat? Most likely it's the goat because the goat Hebraically is a sacrifice for sin. See, many of these people knew the truth. Right. They were into the consciousness. Now, look at how her um, how her what they, what they call it, the pinkies. Look at how her pinkies are out. You see how her pinkies are out right here. Right. This is this is promoting a cunt fraternity. 
All right. This is a, a cunt fraternity. I'm, I'm saying it as it is. The gospel's for mature people. If you're not mature and these things offend you, then Christ said, don't be offended, you know, because the truth is an offense, but not a sin. Right. Many were offended at what Christ said or what the Messiah said. Right. And they stopped following him. Right. Because eh, they never were of him. Right. So if some of y'all get offended, then so be it. Well, if you're offended, the truth is an offense, but it's not a sin. OK, you see that right there? Look at her fingers on the side. You see how her her pinkies are out. She's pointing attention to her vagina, to her cunt. Right. That's what she's pointing attention. Why? Now, why is she doing that? Because the 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 Satanists understand the power of the creative energies. That's why, if you notice in most of their rituals, most of their rituals is about blood or semen, because blood and semen both carry the life force in there. You know, your babies or your whatever, your life force, the blood and the semen, right? And the sexual, you see, it's the so-called religious people or the ones who think they're really just who can't really touch these issues, right? Because they're so immature. Because they're not in the true faith of our Lord and Savior, where they'll speak the truth, even if it's offense to people, then people can still wake up. Those who are suffering, right? Because those who have fallen so far in the pit and might still be able to be saved needs one to be able to reach down there. But you're so holy. You're so holy moly. Look at the, look at the, well, Baba Samdi, the Samdi hat, right? The hat of the magician she's wearing. It, right. She basically is saying that she is uh, um, a priestess or perhaps she's in that same bullshit that Madonna is in. She has compromised or come to some sort of agreement. Right. Since Lauren Hill and the real artists. Right. Are out of the way. You see, these are black people who have voices of angels. Right. Their voices were to sing praise to the almighty. Right. That's what their voices were. But because of money, because of love of money. Because of the deceitfulness of riches and fame and fortune, they have sold, so to speak, their souls. Or they really have lost their souls. Right? They think they're selling their souls, but what they have done is lost their souls. Right? So right there, some would look at the Ethiopian cross. It might be Ethiopian cross. Right? It's, you know, it might not. Let us, let's just say, for the sake of arguments, the Ethiopian cross. So what? So what? So what? It says the devil, you know, or Satan, Lucifer and his people, the angels will transform themselves. Right? As angels of righteousness. So what? We know this is not his majesty symbol. Right? You know, th this is some bullshit. This is just some straight up bullshit. Right? But what it shows us is that they see a power. Right? They see us rising up. So they're using those who can reach us. Like Bob Marley said, they always try to reach us. Right. And they use these artists. OK, she did some songs I like. So that means I shouldn't say anything about it. OK, I used to like her as a pseudo cultural conscious artist. And now I see she's doing more satanic, European, Anglo, evil, albino and non-royal soulless black people shit. So I shouldn't say nothing about it because I used to like her. Or I still see her as having somebody with, you know, potential attractiveness. You know, because remember, it's God who is almighty. Ha Elohim who, who, who created the bodies. You know, who created these people. What are they doing? Who gave them voices of angels, but then they're singing relics and lyrics of demons. Voices of angels and lyrics of devils. Right? Songs of devils. They have voices of angels. Right? Why? Because they are following those who have fallen before them, fallen angels, into the same sort of bullshit. So this right here is bullshit. So brothers, Rastafari, brothers and sisters, when you see this bullshit out there, don't you know? Don't be going off on like, oh, they're becoming conscious or something like that. People will ignore everything else in this picture, right? Everything else that this picture is showing right here, just for that and the so-called pseudo-Ethiopian cross. You know what I mean? And it might not even be that. What about the other jewelry? I mean, I mean, look at the, it's some witch's shit. This is some witch shit. This is a cultural what? This is not Ethiopia. This is Ethiopia. This is not, this is shit. This is some straight up shit. All right. But as we say all of that, we still, 
you know, ask Abba Father in the name Bashem Yeshua, if he will, you know what I mean, to have mercy on these ones. Now, whether the Father gives mercy, I mean, he has mercy. It's, it's these people who don't want it, right? They believe the lies of the enemy. They believe they're all right. They believe we're crazy. They believe we're wrong. They believe something's wrong with us, right? Because you have to remember that the spirit and the flesh and the, and the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, you know, the two cannot be one. You see what I'm saying? And if you want to join this and you have the spirit of truth, you're going to have to go into the, you have to lose that, right? You got to lose your soul, right? So don't even look, get all caught up in this bullshit right here. Okay, this is what we what we sought to do from the very beginning. Touch on this. Excuse I for the for the shaky hand right here because we're trying to manage this and that and the next thing, but no excuse. You know. Alright. <laughs> All right. All right. Shalom Rastafari. Fire bun.